Welcome to Sienna Chalk Talk. I'm Helen Xenos. I lead the optical portfolio marketing team here at Sienna, and today we're going to have some fun, step away from the usual bits and bytes technical speak that we normally use, and provide a colorful and hopefully more intuitive explanation of what we mean when we say that WaveLogic 5 Extreme delivers unmatched system performance and spectral efficiency benefits using a simple analogy. First, why do we even care about coherent optical technology? Well, because it's a critical element that drives the amount of capacity and high-speed services that can be carried across networks and a critical element in controlling their costs. Consider coherent optical transport as analogous to freight transport. The goal of network providers using coherent is to transport as much capacity as they can or need in the most cost-efficient manner that they can using wavelengths across their installed fiber. This is similar to wanting to be as efficient as possible in freight transport carrying as much payload as you can using available truck and road resources. So now let's look at a coherent modem. This is the subsystem that takes in the client traffic and converts it into an optical signal using a certain modulation technique. And this optical signal is what we call a wavelength. Each wavelength carries a certain throughput, for example, 100 gigabits per second, takes up a certain amount of spectrum, and it requires a certain amount of channel spacing on a fiber. In most systems today, there is 4,800 gigahertz of spectrum available in the C-band. So for example, if a user deploys 100 gig wavelengths with 50 gigahertz fixed channel spacing, their fiber can transport 96 times 100 gigabits per second, or 9.6 terabits of capacity. This is analogous to a truck carrying a certain payload and requiring a certain amount of space in a lane. The total payload that can be carried will be the maximum payload each truck can carry times the number of trucks. To improve the efficiency of your network, you want to maximize the capacity that you can carry over your existing assets. Capacity is directly dependent on the number of bits per symbol of your modulation, as well as the number of symbols you send and process per second. The rate of symbols per second is called baud. You can increase the capacity that you're carrying in one of two ways. Increase the bits per symbol using a more complex modulation scheme. However, the more bits per symbol you have, the closer the symbols are to each other, the more sensitive they are to noise, the shorter the reach. Having strong coding and forward error correction algorithms in the DSP that can correct for linear and nonlinear impairments will allow you to go farther for a given modulation scheme. This is analogous to increasing the number of pallets on the platform of a truck. The more pallets, the more unstable the payload is on the truck, the shorter the distance the truck can travel. Similarly, you need a stronger engine and suspension system to transport a larger number of pallets. The second way you can increase the capacity is increasing the baud, so you're processing more symbols per second. This is analogous to increasing the platform size on the truck, which allows you to carry more payload per truck. Increasing the baud allows the user to get better system performance out of a single coherent modem, which allows them to reduce the cost per bit. This means higher capacity per signal for a given reach or longer reach for a given capacity. When you increase the baud, the spectrum that a signal occupies also increases. The specific baud that is selected for a design will depend on two things. What is the highest throughput per wavelength that you want to achieve and for what distance? And this distance will be based on the type of client traffic that needs to be transported and our understanding of reach required for a given capacity that will meet the requirements of a representative number of networks. The second point it's going to depend on is having access to certain high speed, high bandwidth design elements that may not be available in the market yet. You need high bandwidth electro-optics with appropriate pass band to process the new signal you also need digital to analog and analog to digital converters that can operate at an appropriate sampling rate. Now again, total system performance, how much capacity per signal and how far the signal will travel will depend on your DSP algorithms, analogous to the strength of the engine and suspension system in a truck. So now that we've covered the context, let's see how this relates to WaveLogic 5 Extreme. Sienna's WaveLogic 5 Extreme operates at 95 gigabaud to support programmable capacity rates from 200 gig to 800 gig in 25 gig increments. 95 gigabaud was selected as a symbol rate because it allows for maximum capacity of 800 gig for practical short reach distances, like 100 to 200 kilometers, and 800 gig can efficiently carry multiples of 100 gig E and 400 gig E services. 
It also allows for efficient transport of these new 400 gigi services across any distance. So 400 gigi can now be carried across the longest link in your network over a single wavelength, including trans-Pacific distances. So why isn't everyone doing 95 gigabaud? Because the DSP, as well as high bandwidth electro-optics and high-speed converters that are required for 95 gigabaud operation, are not generally available. Being vertically integrated, having the expertise and ownership of the full design, including the DSP, high-speed mixed signal design, and high bandwidth electro-optics, is needed to deliver the networking benefits associated with this technology at an earlier time to market. While modems at greater than 95 gigabaud provide improvements in cost per bit, DSP being equal, yes, you should be able to get more throughput using a single modem and reduce your cost per bit. Timing of the solution will depend on when you can have appropriate DSP, high-speed converters, and high bandwidth electro-optics available to deliver the solution. Let's look at the implications of this new technology on networks, which are the roads in our analogy. Historically, optical networks have been built with fixed grid, 50 gigahertz or 100 gigahertz wavelength selective switches. A WSS is similar to a roundabout that allows trucks to go in different directions. And fixed grid is similar to fixed lanes on a road. The good news is that the pace of innovation moves much more quickly in communications, and flexible grid WSSs, those that can select more granular spacing options, have been shipping since 2012. Imagine intelligent roundabouts that have many possible lane options and can flexibly allocate lane space as needed to allow optimal truck and payload fit. As soon as you start talking about 45 gigabaud and higher modems, which are needed if you want to deploy wavelengths with 400 gig capacity or higher, you need greater than 50 gigahertz spacing per channel for flex grid networks. This is the case for WaveLogic 5 Extreme, which offers selectable baud options with best performance and economics delivered at 95 gigabaud. Users of FlexGrid networks can decide to set fixed channel spacing in their network for operational reasons. However, this approach restricts the user from gaining the benefits of new coherent technologies that become available, which is contrary for the initial reason for deploying coherent in the first place. Today we have tools that exist that abstract all the complexity of the planning, spectral assignment, and management of flex grid channels, so users are able to gain optical capacity and spectrum efficiencies. Let's bring all the concepts together. Assume you need to carry 2.4 terabits of capacity across 1,200 kilometers, which is a representative long distance link in networks today. There are several choices in modem generations available. You can use a 32 gigabaud modem or a truck, that can carry 100 gig of capacity across this distance. And so now you're gonna need 24 trucks. You wanna carry more capacity per truck. So you look at a standard 64 gigabaud modem. Now you can carry 300 gig capacity per truck. So that means eight trucks. If you need to transport 400 gigi services, well now you prefer to use 400 gig wavelengths. The 64 gigabaud engines won't reach 1200 kilometers. So you would need to regen or deploy a second set of trucks to get to 1,200 kilometers, that makes 12 trucks. WaveLogic 5 Extreme can provide efficient transport for both 100 gigi and 400 gigi services using four trucks or four modems, each of which can carry 600 gig of capacity. Which of these options is easier to manage? Needs less hardware, consumes less power, reduces your costs? The choice is clear. WaveLogic 5 Extreme delivering unmatched performance for all networking applications.